When completing your purpose statement, I'd like for you to consider an ideal job, a job that you would like to pursue and something that you find enjoyable. Maybe it's a goal of yours to work at a particular school, maybe at a particular location, perhaps focusing on a certain type of student or group of students. Think of your ideal job and create two lists, one list of expectations and a second list called I will statements or commitments. So with your expectations, when you're creating your list, think of it as a brainstorming activity, writing out at least 10 sentences that begin with, I want a job that, or I want a job where. And as you are finishing these sentences, just isolate or create a list of, uh, of expectations and think of the key points that you would expect from the job, but also expectations that you would perhaps mention or discuss in an interview. And I'd like for you to think of it within that context because there are some expectations that are either obvious, they're given, for example, you would like to work uh, or not work on holidays, for example. And if you know that you're working in a country where that's pretty standard or maybe by law, schools have to give days off, then that's probably not uh, a, an expectation that I would include here. These are going to be expectations that reflect you as a professional, as a responsible person for a particular job that you would like. So think of the expectations within that context. What kind of expectations might you discuss in an interview that reflect you as a professional, as uh, a worthy job candidate for a particular position? Do the same for the I will statements or the commitments. Now, the relationship between the expectations and the commitments, think of it like statements that you begin with, I will do this, I will do that. Things that you're willing to do that relate to the expectations. There's a relationship between what you expect from a job, but also what you're willing to do as it relates to those expectations. So with the I will statements, I would have a list of at least 10 sentences that begin with, I will. Begin with the prompt, I will do this, I will do that. What are your expectations, things that you're willing to do as it relates to that ideal job. Now, once you've created a list of 10 expectations and 10 commitments, then your task is to create one coherent and cohesive unified paragraph that brings together the expectations and the commitments that you've listed here. You want to stay in the third person. So even though you have written in the first person, as, uh, as a list of expectations and commitments. Now we want to convert the, the body paragraph into the third person, avoiding I, avoiding we, avoiding you, but writing the paragraph in the third person. So take a look at the task that I've listed here. Pay very close attention to the way that you're organizing your ideas, how you're presenting the expectations and the commitments both should be reflected in the paragraph, both your expectations and the commitments. But again, we're not going to simply copy and paste the list of sentences that we have here. In fact, we're going to reword these, making sure that we are paraphrasing but capturing really the essence of what we have here in terms of expectations and commitments.